Rhonda with two great movies, a bevy of crazy friends, and hats for some lucky viewers. Next on USA, up all night. Luscious late night lamb chop, ready to show you two big movies and lots more. Tonight's show includes one of your favorite up all night visitors, plus, of course, other great surprises. Tonight, our movies are Happy Hour and Time Barbarians. Happy Hour is about this beer company that has stumbled across a secret ingredient in their beer which makes everybody want to buy it. It stars Rich Little and Jamie Farr, not to mention Tawny Katane. We bring you the stars nobody else will. And Time Barbarians is one of Rhonda's favorite movies because it involves time and barbarians. I know you'll like it. So let's get right to our first movie on USA up all night. Here's Happy Hour, just for you. Ha. It's your cuddly couch companion, and we're watching Happy Hour. I never understood happy hour in a bar. I mean, happy hour is from four to five. If you're drinking at four already, how happy can you be? Hmm, sounds more like depressing hour to me. Well, we'll return to more happy hour after these very exciting commercial messages. Thanks for tuning in. Rhonda loves her audience, and she's glad you love her. But you know, there's more to Rhonda than just pretty hair and a body that I work at. Let's hear what a USA executive has to say about Rhonda. Have you ever heard her belch? Uh-oh. I think that music means one thing. It's Steve, the maitre d' from the fabulous Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas. Hi, Steve. Hello, Rhonda. And how is Las Vegas doing these days? Things are really happening in Las Vegas, Rhonda. The town is hotter than a desert lizard. We have over 65 water rides and splashing events for your aqua needs. And we also have six new hotels opening, which means about over 15,000 new mattresses coming in, coming in since you desire to lay down. Wow, Vegas is really something. And we still continue to have five-star mobile dining and big stars like Rich Little, Buddy Greco, and the Coasters for your evening out. I can't wait to get in that water and see Buddy Greco. Anyway, what are you here for tonight, Steve? I'm here to give all Las Vegas visitors tips on tipping. As you know, tipping is a big part of Las Vegas. Everyone gets tipped from the waiters in our mobile dining rooms to our bathroom attendants to the dolphins who jump out of the tank for you at the Mirage Hotel. Wow, this is so exciting, and you're here to tell everyone the proper tipping etiquette. That's correct. Today, I will welcome USA viewers to Steve, Steve's Tipping Tips. Boys. Name does get a little confusing <laughs> yeah. at times, I know. Okay, now I understand, Steve, or Stiff, that you can actually tell what tip a customer gives you without even looking at the bill. I am so good at this that I can put any bill in my hand. Or I, I, I can put any bill in your hand. <laughs> well, you can put any bill in your hand. You'd know what that bill is. Okay. And I can tell you what it is and where to seat you. Okay, so someone else can put a bill in your hand, and you're saying you can tell. I'm going to blindfold you to make sure. You don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, I'm going to do this. You can't see anything, all right? You cannot. You can't see, right? I can't see. I'm going to get a really good bill for you. I'm going to slide it to you the right way, the way I've seen people do in Vegas. Ready? Here we go. That's a dollar bill, Rhonda. <gasps> I wouldn't even accept that. You give me a dollar bill, I see you behind the maintenance pipes. You get absolutely no view of the show there. That is amazing. Okay, put it back down. All right, I, I'm picking out a good one. Don't look away. Here we go. I'm sliding it to you. Here you go. What's that? That's a 20, Rhonda. That feels like a nice booth. For 20, you get a booth and make a production of walking you down to the booth. You'll have three maitre d's accompanying you like a Toreador march at a bullfight. Exciting! 20! Okay, this is so good. You are so good. All right, here we go. This is one. You'll never figure this one out. All right, here we go. That's a fake bill from the gift shop. It's got a horse's head on it. For that, I'll get you ejected from the hotel, and your room will be cleaned out within 10 minutes of 
10 minutes of you giving me that bill. Oh, gosh, it's so confusing. But you are good. Darn, you're good. OK, here we go. This is it. Ready? Slipping it to you the back way. That is a $100 bill, Rhonda. Yes! I can feel one of those in a dark cave. For 100 I'll actually strap you onto the performer while he sings, and you can move with him. <sighs> Steve, you are amazing. You, you can take this off now. Thank you. You got all the bills right. You know, tipping really is a part of Las Vegas. Who else accepts tips there? Doctors, priests, cabbies, everyone in Las Vegas will accept a tip from you. For instance, I worked a funeral last week. This guy gave me a 20. Yeah. I moved him right up to the body. Wow. For 100 you could get in the casket with him, right next to the body. That is amazing. Those are some tips, Steve. We love having you here on the show. What's next on your trip here? On my next visit, I'll show everyone the proper way to sit in their seats. There you have it, Steve, the maitre d' from the fabulous Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas. Now we return to happy hour on USA Up All Night. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Gotcha. Boy, this beer movie is something. And what's good about watching it on USA is that there's no two-drink minimum. USA, the network that waves the two-drink minimum. Oh, come in. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, hello. Hi, honey. Uh, I didn't want to come empty-handed. No, this is beautiful green. But I see you already have apples. But oh, I mean, thank you. Yes. Oh, what's another one? <laughs> hey, listen, you know. I'd like to introduce Fran and Harry Lipschitz all the way from Silk Stockings. No, yeah. Stockings. Silk Stockings. Oh, you're from New York. It's got, you've got that blooming Here, let me take some this away Silk from you. Stockings. But, but yes. that's the name of the show, Silk Stockings. It's not, you, you don't stalk somebody mm -hmm. when, you, when oh, you follow them, you stalk them. Oh, you're saying stalking. Now you got it. Silk Stockings. Stalking. You're not from New York, are you? No. Oh, good. Okay. Because he told me he was from Pittsburgh oh. you know, after all these years. Oh, God, that's so romantic. So you're married on the show and you're, and you're married in real life. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? Our real name isn't Harry and Fran Lipschitz. It, no, it's not. No, honey, I, it isn't. She's so sweet and yeah. so dumb. Anyhow, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I can't help it. I get paid so much money for being dumb. You know something? That we, Mitzi and I were talking. You, you've let yourself go. I know. Look what's happened to it's, you. I'm sorry. We're so worried about I, you. I want to say that in person, her body is not to be believed. You are more beautiful oh, thank in you. person. And I've known you for oh, so long. You're yes. a cute little girl. Oh, Would you stand you. next to and hug each other for a second. Look, watch this, watch Look at this, a Jewish fantasy. <laughs> Look, if I take off my shoes, we're um, the same size. Except if I take off my shoes. <laughs> take off I wish we shoes. were the same size. <laughs> oh. Well, it really is Mitzi McCall and Charlie Brill. Uh -huh. and, and we're going to come back and we're going to talk more about silk. I like stockings. Stockings. Yes, my stockings. fans like stockings. Well, I like your stockings, but stockings <laughs> but, is well, it. Well, nice. Listen, women borrow clothes. Could I borrow your body? I mean, uh, bring no, it back. Let, well, Ron decides you and put you in one of these dresses. Oh, well, look. look at this. Like, there's total girl thing happening here. Props! Yeah. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209, 5719. Nicole, it's Charlie Brill. We're it's here so in the back. Sure Rhonda, it is. Rhonda, you know what? We want to invite you to be on our show. We want to invite you to be on Silk Stockings. Uh, gee, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to correct a series regular, um, but it's Silk Stockings. St stockings. 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 Right. We want to invite you to be on Silk Stockings. Would yes. you do that? I, I would love to be on. I okay. really would. Well, you're going to be. Yeah. Oh, when you meet Rob Estes, I don't even want to get into it. He is so gorgeous. Oh. Really? Yeah. Does he look in the mirror a lot? No, not at all. He's ever. not like that. No, it's not Charlie. <laughs> it's in Charlie. Charlie is impossible. <laughs> you know, it's terrible to be on silk stockings. Stalking. Stalking. Yeah. Stalking. Yeah. And, and all those gorgeous women. But then <laughs> here I am. This is my karma. No. This no. is it. God said, listen, There's, you're going to have a good marriage, but you're always going to be surrounded by gorgeous women. I, I, I okay. have them, always these hey. beautiful women on this so, show. So listen, blonde Goyesha goddess, I invite you <laughs> to be on and I invite you to come into my fantasy, but it's too late for I that. I know what matzo ball is. Oh, good. What other part of the matzo do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I just know they make good baseballs. Now, the, and there, you guys, I mean, you, are, you have been, like, doing comedy together, yes. like the ultimate comedy couple, which is incredible. No, I don't know. Ultimate. Ultimate. We, we do. We're do you laugh in bed? Uh, she that's laughs at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> of course we laugh at that. What are you kidding me? <laughs> this is 
Jesus, it's hysteria time. Mostly what I do in bed is go props. <laughs> <laughs> I, love this. I have to hear about the Ed Sullivan story. I know. Oh, I have a little birdie told me. Uh, I mean, you all were on Ed That's amazing. Yeah, okay, February yeah. 9th, 1964. Our manager called us up and he said, Mace Newfeld, and he said, uh, we, I have the Ed Sullivan show for you. Oh, and we said, speak. oh, great. He said, you'll right. be on um, um, February 9th, and it was 1964. And we said, oh, good. And, um, and he said, and the Beatles will be on. And we said, oh, great. Who? Because we didn't, <laughs> we didn't know we didn't who they know. were. How Some pathetic. Group. It's oh. so sad. Oh. We got to New York, and the streets were lined. There were people like uh, uh, policemen everywhere you turned. And Charlie thought Frank Gorshin was a hit. I said, look at this. <laughs> from you all. It was for you guys. Yeah, see, that's right. No, no, not us. But I didn't know. And, and what Ed Sullivan did is, um, right before the Beatles went on, he said uh, he was going to introduce us, and he said, and here they are. And by the time the kids stopped screaming, our act was over. You followed? You actually were the act that followed the Beatles? Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. the, that, that's the, that's great. Yeah, great for you. It's we great. died. <laughs> we, um, we couldn't get a job for 100 years. Still Stalking, stalking. stalking. When is this show stalking. on? When does this show air? It's on. I know it's on USA. It's on, it's on um, USA and it's on um, a, a Tuesday. When? No, Monday. Friday. No, it's on Monday, but the show that's on Sa Thursday is a repeat of Saturday afternoon. No, no, no. It's actually the repeat of the year before. Of Friday. It's Ron Deere and USA up all night with a very close friend who's absolutely gorgeous, songwriter extraordinaire Carol Connors. Thank you for being here. My new best friend. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love your bed. I, oh, I uh, love. I love. Okay. I love the, bed. I better, the, I, the outfit's great. The apple's great. But show us what you do best. Well. <laughs> you don't really want to know. The bed. Ask No, actually, one of the first things I ever did in my whole life, I can't do first. So I'll do one thing that I got nominated for an Oscar oh for Bill gosh. Conti. Okay. It goes like this. Yes. A theme from Rocky. Oh my God. And then I did with David Shire. Yes. Come bring me your soft bed. Comfort me through all this madness. Lying safe within your arms, not yours. I'm born again. Little babies. piano, little piano. Well, you're, you're responsible for a lot of babies with that song. And I was a baby when I sang this. Okay. And many people kissed to this, Rhonda. To know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. And I, come on, Rhonda. And I do. The teddy bears plus Rhonda. That's great. Oh, thank you. You know what's so exciting is that you do all this and, and all this comes out of your mind because you're really the sexy woman and you have, no, no, you have, you know, every celebrity in the world knows you, you know oh, every you celebrity, see? no, but it's true, I know, I've been to your parties, but you ha you do have a sort of an exciting love life. Look well, at you, you're smiling, there's a guy in your life. <laughs> well, there's a guy in my life and, and he's wonderful and we haven't been to Tattoo together, I have to say that, but we have gone camping. Camping? Carol? Camping? Me, the mosquito? Carol, no. Yes. I don't think so. Yes, I camped. It's I like camped, a... and then I got aggravated, and then camped wrote... some more. Oh. And then I wrote a new song for Fabio while I was camping. And, and with the other guy. <laughs> well, I love it. Yeah, well, that's a little confusing, but... Hmm. Okay, wait. What can you know I what? Say about that? Stay here. We're going to come back to that, because we're going to leave you hanging on that she wrote another song for another man while she was with Cowboy Bill. Um, so don't go away. We're going to check out these commercials. Camping. <laughs> You're not camping, right, <laughs> in this outfit, designer outfit with the apple. Oh, the apple. <laughs> that's the way Rhonda goes. We camping. ate the apple. <laughs> <laughs> to hear with Carol Connor, songwriter extraordinaire. We're having the best time. She's telling me to gossip. And this new jacket. Oh, Kathy Ballman. Music, oh music, gosh, music, music. Don't I just more love clothes it. Than Rhonda. No, no, I don't have more than Rhonda. <laughs> oh, by the way, the, uh, the Fabio song. Yes. I'm writing it with Lee Holdridge. But Lee wasn't there, so now we have Lee, Cowboy Bill, and Fabio. <laughs> so it was from your mind on that that, that camping out trip. Yes. Now, I know you're, you're writing lots of songs right now, but do you have a song that sort of could be right for me, you know? Well, I have one that I really love, and it's it's the new theme song for the Miss World America. Oh, really? And now, 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 I mean, I love Here She Comes, yeah. Miss America. Yeah. But this is a new concept for the woman of the 90s. Right. So um, I'll just do a little of it. It's called Walk With Dignity. Today is your day for the rest of your life. You did it. Now live it and say what you've always wanted to say. Rhonda, 
you can do it, you always do. Walk with dignity and talk with respect and live your life with your head held high and meet the world I too Classic song. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I'm sure you'll be walking to it down another runway one day. I will. I hope. Oh, well, will you come back? Will I'd come love back? it. I'd love it. We'll do pajamas. We'll do. We won't camp out. We won't camp out. We'll do pajamas the right way. Carol Connors, thank you for being here. Oh, you're great. Mm. <laughs> it's your girly girl here on USA Up All Night, and it's now time for another edition of Guess Who's in Rhonda's Bed. Well, let's check it out. It's a thin lump today. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's Johnny Dark. Hey, Rhonda. Wake up and come sit down here. Oh, Look at you. Well, I'm happy to be here. Hi. Oh, um, Johnny oh. Dark, comedian extraordinaire and a very good friend of Rhonda's. Well, you are fabulous. You're a very, very funny man. I totally agree with everything this woman has said up to now. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, wait. No, but then you do, wait, you, you, you open like for major people. Uh -huh. and, and you did Letterman's like last week? Oh, no, I did uh, Letterman and, uh, with eight days left at NBC. Uh, I got to get on the David mm -hmm. Letterman show for my uh, third time with uh, Jerry Seinfeld and I. So it was like old home week. You had uh, Jerry Seinfeld, David Letterman, and Johnny Dark. Now, if I, uh, of course, Jerry went on first uh, a day after David opened, and then I went on last. And I thought if it had been in a comedy club, it would have been reversed. <laughs> I would have gone on first, <laughs> then Seinfeld, and then probably Letterman. Oh, but you're the funniest. Oh, thanks. Oh, now, now John, you're doing all kinds of things. You do serious acting. Uh huh. And, and I have to just talk a bit, little bit about your love life, though. Just oh, yeah. Just really quick, because our audience loves love life. So. Oh, absolutely. Because you remarried the same woman you were married to before, and that's intriguing to me. I actually went back and remarried the same girl I divorced. I remarried my ex-wife. <laughs> see, that just shows you the grass isn't greener. God. <laughs> well, I guess you figured, what the hell, you know, I, I got half when I left. Why not go back and get the other half? <laughs> but it's hard to be with a comedian. I mean, it's hard. I mean, you're, you're around the house making jokes. I'm making jokes all the time, but I'm very happy. I mean, my, my wife and I have been, you know, we have two kids, and I was shocked when she got pregnant. She got so big, you know. <laughs> she had to go out and buy one of those cross your street bras. <laughs> All right, now we're going to talk, I have more to talk to you about because their little hobby of yours is really intriguing to me. And also I want to find out who's like the best person you ever opened for or your oh. favorite. So anyway, USA Up All Night continues, but first our sponsors want to say hi. Don't go away. Johnny and I will be back. <laughs> It's me, Rhonda, your Midnight Morsel, welcoming you back to our show. Happy Hour is our movie, and it stars Jamie Farr and Tawny Katane, and it's all about this beer company that's getting everybody to drink their beer. And we're getting everybody to watch Johnny Dark. Hi, everybody. It's good to be here. It's great to be here. You're yeah. such a funny man. Thank you. And uh, you have an interesting life, but you also have a lot of free time because you do... <laughs> I guess during the marriage, when it broke up, you learned to do these beautiful plates. Yes, that's right. Uh, this is my hobby. I learned to do these. Actually, I was doing them on airplanes, uh, on paper napkins, and then I uh, graduated to uh, paper plates. And then I went to real plates, and now all of a sudden, I'm using them with paints and colors, and they're turning out like this. Well, where are the little numbers? The, there are no little numbers. Hey. <laughs> this I all know. comes from my brain. It's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. And you'll be selling these. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'll maybe be you'll do them. Rhonda plates. I'll do a plate for Rhonda because, you know, we've got to be up all night anyway. We do. We'll, do so, we'll make a million. We'll absolutely. Not that we care about that on this show. No. <laughs> now, I want to know, like, who's the most exciting person? Just the funny story of someone that you opened for. Well, opening for Engelbert Humperdinck was very exciting because the women were, would go crazy. I mean, I walked That was for the, you. Yeah, but for, I mean, it was exciting because <laughs> they'd always come up to me and they'd go, Oh, Johnny, you were very funny last night. Engelbert, <laughs> you were wonderful. <laughs> you know, so you have to put up with a lot of that. Opening know? acts. It's like, it's like the best thing to do, like in Vegas, but it's also uh, well now I'm headlining so who has to open you're headlining you're headlining at the in, well, what's uh, coming up for you at, well I'm going to be at the Tropicana the same week she's at the, the, Riviera. the Riviera so we'll be together in Las Vegas we're we'll Las be... Vegas slut puppies absolutely we yeah. have the best time I'm so glad will you come back and do yeah, I'll come will you back come back and sing because you also sing fat? look I 
Sure, I'd love to sing. <laughs> okay, you'll sing, we'll do crazy things, we'll show more plates, because he will have the Rhonda double plates by then. In the meantime, let's return to happy hour and you have the up all night. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you in Vegas. Boy, that beer company sure is selling a lot of beer. I wonder what that secret ingredient is. These companies with their secret ingredients. I remember when McDonald's had their quarter pounder with their secret sauce. Some secret sauce. It was ketchup and mayonnaise. Now, here's some secrets we don't want to keep. Our sponsors. <laughs> me. Thanks for joining us tonight. Rhonda is so happy when you tune in. It gets lonely here all by myself. Hey, let's see who's still staying up to watch our movie. Aw, poor little guy. Well, back to happy hour with my always happy viewers. It's Rhonda in USA up all night. Oh, another great guest. Hello. Hi. Rhonda. How are you? Cece? How, How are, you? are you? So good to see you. Okay, now I have to introduce you to my audience. This is a real life countess from Hungary, Countess Cece. Very short, but still a real countess. You're not, look, now I can, well, I'm, I'm, I'm almost the same size. But you know what? This woman is so talented. She speaks what? You say you speak? Nine languages. But you cook in ten. I cook in ten. I don't speak Chinese, but I cook Chinese. She cooks Chinese, and she's also a magnificent artist. She has created all of the art jewelry that she's wearing. And, wait, what did you tell me about a ring? You told me once a little story. A uh, ring is a painting you wear on your head. <gasps> you know that? that we're going to have a good time with the countess. Oh, because Rhonda loves jewelry. We are having so much fun. And I love Rhonda. Aww. <laughs> and I love the way she says my name. <laughs> USA rolls on right after these very important messages. I love this ring. I must have it. Rhonda's having the best time on USA Up All Night with Countess Cece, who has created all these beautiful jewelry art pieces. Look at this. Okay, are these glasses the best? Those are fabulous. I love glasses, and they make you look great. Oh, they do. They, well, now watch, watch. I'm going to change these earrings because I have to just wear everything. I mean, this is like shopping. Is this like too much? Incredible. And there's bags. You do bags? When I make jewelry, I make them so a woman looks prettier. Yes. And that is uh, essential. That's I try them on me. If I don't look better with them, I don't make them. And it's fun. It's fantasy. This is fantasy jewelry. Sure. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, I am in You don't minutes. even get attached for them. <laughs> no, you don't. So it's all costume jewelry, but you but you work in semi-precious stones. Look at this. I need this. You can buy this for me. Oh, no, not. I didn't really mean that. Well, I did. These are from this night. Oh, you just, and so how do you, you just think of like these great ideas and it just comes through the middle of the night? It wow. comes in the middle of the night or I see a pretty woman and she inspires me something. Wow. Or I see a lovely tree, I don't know, it comes now, when you walk by into, the air. When you walk into a room, you make an entrance, do you not? I mean, they people must stop you. Like, well, occasionally, yes. Look at this. <laughs> no, this is great. This is totally, totally, do you love this? Totally wrong. I love it. Those fit you great. Do they fit me great? Yeah. It's great fun. Will I you catch a guy like it. this? Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> and, a and a guy with good taste. A guy with good taste. Okay. The bag, we're ready to go out on the town because we have everything, huh? <laughs> back to happy hour. Countess Cece, will you come back and, sh and play with me? I love to. You will? I love to. Show me all of your jewels. I promise. I want And this. I cook you a good dinner. She'll cook me a good dinner, and she'll make jewelry for me. All right, we'll be back. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep playing here. Look, a watch. <gasps> Do you love this? And the time is right. <laughs> <laughs> to hear from you, write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night, P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Now, let's go.
get to the conclusion of happy hour so you can see how it ends. Now, there you have it. Happy hour is over, and if you haven't figured out the ending, perhaps you should read the book. Now, our next movie is full of action and romance. It doesn't have any big stars like Rich Little or Jamie Farr, but it does have a special appearance by Ingrid Gold as the witch. Let's show you. Hey, it's the best we can do. Now here's Time Barbarians on USA Up All Night. It's your bedtime buddy on USA Up All Night, and it's time to announce the winners of the trivia challenge. The people who got all 12 of those trivia questions correct will win a USA Up All Night cap signed and sizzle kissed by Rhonda. There were a lot of entries. You all did a great job. But here are the winners randomly selected. Tiffany Brower from Keeney, Maryland. Brian Smith from Laurel, Maryland. James Martindale from Worcester, Oklahoma. Lamar Eskew from Riverdale, Georgia. Kevin Landon from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Tom Aresto from New Kensington, Pennsylvania. Tom Miller from, 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 from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. D.L. Plunkard from Emmitsburg, Iowa. Mark Nicholson from Ithaca, New York. Joel Fisher from Royce, Illinois. And James Shodell from Fontana, California. Congratulations to all of you. You're gonna love your cat. Now, here's our sponsors, and they have important messages just for you. Yeah. Barbarians on USA Up all night. It's over. Time Barbarians is no more. And did you finally see that amulet? Some magical powers. They found out it was all for nothing. It was really a cheap paperweight. Well, that's it for this week's show. But remember, we'll be back again next Friday when we'll do something completely different all over again. Now stay with us as we roll along with man killers. So until next week, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda, up all night. Nighty-night.